driving across the United States from the Pacific Ocean to the Atlantic without using paved roads. This is day 16. What's up guys? I made it to Trinidad, Colorado last night. I didn't want to freeze anymore, and so I decided to get a hotel, took a nice shower. I was so cold for the last few days, and I realized it was gonna be like low 20s, and I'm like, yeah, I just, I, I, I don't wanna do it right now. I don't wanna do it, I want a hotel. It was crazy, like I took a washcloth, and I washed my face before I went to dinner, and the thing was brown. Coda, do you remember seeing all those buffalo yesterday? I can't believe we saw real buffalo. I'm gonna take this as a learning opportunity to find out for myself how extremely dangerous they really are. It's a real buffalo, and he's huge. Just look at you. Hey, buffalo, I got a carrot. Hey, buffalo, I got a sandwich. Hey, buffalo, I got sardines. Hey, buffalo, I got oysters. Hey, big buffalo, I got pears. Come here, please, big buffalo. Ah, uh, you know buffalo are super delicious, right? Let's go find some more buffalo. Yeah, get that thing, get it. It's trying to hurt your daddy. Show him your teeth. Yeah, it's a good girl. Yeah, I hate it too. I don't trust his eyes and his red hair. Yeah, it's a good girl. Thanks for saving me. I'm gonna get in the car where I'm safe. Someone told me about a, a nice little drive through coffee shop. It's late in the day and I just need my go-go juice so I feel, feel a little bit more alive. I'll, I'll be honest, 16 days of off-roading all day, every day, like eight, nine hours, it becomes exhausting when you're used to just like hanging out on the couch, playing Call of Duty while your wife feeds you and tries to make you fat. And your 43 kid children running around messing up the whole neighborhood for everybody else. This town is really cute. All the buildings are really old. The streets are cobblestone. I had a fantastic steak last night at the Trinidad Smokehouse. I got a ribeye steak at a smokehouse. Okay, everybody, really good news. The coffee place I went to, Way Out West Coffee Co. It's a, it was a drive through coffee shop. I had low to mediocre expectations at best. I roll up, whatever, it's a drive through coffee. It's one o'clock in the afternoon, and I gotta say, it's it's good coffee. It's as good as as the fancy Gucci stuff that I drink on a daily basis. It's it's solid. I, I would give it a, I would give it a nine out of a ten. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm back on the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. What are you doing? someone comes up behind you and you're on a dirt road in the middle of nowhere, that means they're faster than you because they just came up behind you. So kindly pull over and they will disappear quickly into the dust. Maybe he'll pull over so I can get past them. Nope. Seems like he wants to be on the left side of the road too and make me very clear that this is his dirt road. Yep, I'm just gonna sit here and slowly sip my coffee outside of Trinidad, Colorado and just enjoy myself. I think this dude loves NASCAR because I've been behind him for what feels like forever now and he's really good at hugging the left side of the road so I can't get past him. He's probably the only other guy out here so it's not like I want to be on his bad side and like find myself in a ditch and he just waves as he honk, as he goes by and leaves me there. We're going to play NASCAR sir. We're going to play we're going to play the Baja version. We're going to play the Baja version. I'm going to run into your rear bumper and then push you a little bit and then I'm gonna jump up around side you. I've been watching a lot of Baja 1000 videos in my lifetime and, and I assure you I will get around you. I will, I promise you. If you don't turn there, I will be passing you in a moment. It's probably just the coffee in my blood, guys. It's probably just the fact that I have a bunch of coffee in my blood. Anyways, I don't really know what else to say about this guy other than I hope he has a very nice day and he has a beautiful green tractor and that if he stubs his toe tonight, he deserved it. See, and just like that, it resolved itself. And I even, I just put the Raptor in Baja mode, turned off the traction control, and I was ready to drive something like this. Oh, this is so much power when you do that, guys. 
This thing is an absolute beast. You can take it literally anywhere across the entire country, yet you can get on the freeways and still drive it like a sports car. On roads like this, what I like to do is put it into what's called Baja mode, which changes the tuning of the engine to get more power out of it, and it's in four wheel drive. But then the secret is you hold the traction control button for three to five seconds, and it takes out all the safety features, so now you get drifted around corners. And in my opinion, if you know how to properly drive on this type of surface, it's safer that way because the traction control sometimes will throw you off. Yesterday was a rough day. All it took was one good night's sleep at a hotel and a really good cup of coffee and a super cute little town called Trinidad, Colorado. And the hotel had a good breakfast. Eggs and hash browns and black beans and then like green chili sauce all over the top of it. If you notice, I went through a little spot where there's houses and I, I slow way down to like 15 miles an hour, guys. That's the nice thing to do. You don't know who lives out there. You don't know if they have dumb dogs or sheep or goats or Sasquatches as pets and you don't want to dust anybody out, and that's just the nice thing to do. So do the nice thing, guys. If we all do the nice thing, Everything, everyone will have nice things. That's, that's the plan. That's the jail. I said that jokingly, but I really think it might have been the jail back in the day. Let's go, let's go tour, let's go tour this thing, let the dog out. It really does look like a jail. And then it's nice, it's nice that the jail put like some benches out here, so when you get locked up, like let's say you've been out drinking at the bar and doing the shenanigans. They put you in the jail and then your buddies can hang out out here with you and talk to you. Be like, Ron, I told you that was such a stupid idea. I think it would have been cold. I think that would have been punishment enough. Like you sit in there for a couple days freezing. I think, I think I'd, stop, I'd stop brawling at the bars. That would have been an outlaw for sure. Just riding around with my boys, robbing banks and living in the caves and hiding in the valleys. It's so cool to think back on these cowboy days. This, this is a really neat spot, guys. I got a huge Dwayne out here. Dude, wouldn't it be cool if I met Dwayne the Rock Johnson one day? If anyone watching this can, like, it has a friend who's like the barber of Dwayne. I know he doesn't have a lot of hair. It, it would be really cool if you would you would introduce me to Dwayne. If I could spend some time with Dwayne the Rock Johnson, I think I'd go to a steakhouse and just eat with him. I, because like he's such a huge human, I, I just would really be curious as to how much food he puts into his body. Like an all-you-can-eat Chinese buffet with Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Can you imagine how funny that'd be? Someone see if you can make that happen. I want to go, I want to eat, eat with Dwayne. Well, we found a horse, but I have the slightest idea how to go about stealing him. To be honest with you, I'm actually afraid of horses because they have huge teeth. And there's my road. All the way to the horizon. Being right here on the exact border, half the truck is in New Mexico, half the truck is in Colorado right now. I feel like this is a perfect spot to hide a golden banana because I'm pretty much in the middle of nowhere. So I'm gonna go rummage around these bushes. If you've been following my adventure across the country, you'll know a couple things. One, I don't eat beef. Two, I don't eat fruit. And three, I classify chocolate as a fruit because it comes from a fruit in Panama. I went to Walmart last night. Guess what they had, guys? My favorite chocolate and so I, I did I did what any good chocolate connoisseur would do when he finds something in high demand that you can't find very often. I bought all of them. If you want this, subscribe to the video, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, that's where I'll release the GPS coordinates for all 30 lucky golden bananas that I stashed across the country. There's rattlesnakes out here guys and they like to hide in the shade which is like inside of a bush. I'd hide this somewhere else but it's just so flat, I don't want some random hunter to like come across it. So I'm gonna find a bush that you can see into easily. Kind of like kicking myself for spending the night in a hotel last night. Like this would have been a great camping spot, but I'm like a long ways away from where my hotel was. And it's, uh, it's nice and warm out here too. I'll tell you what, I'm so happy that I'm not freezing anymore. And these cactuses are super, super cool. I'm gonna take a picture of them.
Yeah, whoever comes and gets the golden banana on day 16, you're going to really like it. I've seen a lot of bugs, but look at that guy. This is New Mexico, friends. Absolutely beautiful. Northern New Mexico is one of the prettiest places in the entire United States. Out here, Hennon, Oklahoma, it's just perfectly calm and still and beautiful. And I cannot believe that I'm on day 16 and there's been no rain, barely even a cloud in the sky for 16 days. So I turn right here, follow that down for a while, and, and yeah, I'll give you a quick tour of what the border of New Mexico and Oklahoma looks like. I've seen a lot of cows and a lot of antelope. It's time to burn through Oklahoma. There's a town called Boise City. And as you know, I'm from the city of Boise, so it's going to be, I'm going to be really interested to see if it's all opposite. Like if people are driving on the opposite side of the road, and like the hamburger bun is in the middle of like two meat patties, stuff like that. Hopefully they have a hotel, and hopefully they have a good restaurant. And, um, and and I might I might spoil myself a little bit going forward. Just it's just kind of I, I I push pretty hard for the last 15 days. So now it's time to take a little bit of a break. I made it to Boise City just after dark and had to sleep at the airport. No joke. Click the link right now to watch day 17.